Hey guys, Marty D'Angelo here, Oroville Dam Watch Group. We are on our perch and we are watching hard. So, it looks like we'll probably end up having an earthquake in Oroville. I don't know how that will affect the dam. It could be disastrous, but um, there was an earthquake at Lake Oroville back in 1975 when they were build building the dam and filling it up full of water because it's so much water, 3.4 million cubic feet. And it's a lot of weight, you know, on the ground pressing down. Plus, you have the water pressure that's down at the bottom, which is causing this kind of porous uh, effect on the rocks, you know, pushing pushing water and air and stuff into the rocks. So, anyway, we'll see. I'm watching it right now. And uh, Chester is just popping off with over 50 earthquakes ranging from 5.7 to down to 2 point something. So, Anyway, you guys uh, in the area, be sure to let us know if you feel any shaking and uh, keep up with us because I'm pretty sure that uh, today or tomorrow we we'll probably will have an earthquake in Oroville, near Oroville, maybe eight miles out of town, but they always say that. Uh, anyway, hope all of you are doing well. They're going to fill the lake all the way up to 900 feet, so we're going to find out if it's going to pop or not, but it could. It definitely could. There's nothing stopping it, I can tell you that. Definitely not uh, definitely not the DWR. So anyway, we pray that that doesn't happen. But if it does, we'll definitely be reporting on it. Um, yeah, run it all the way up. Hell, run it on up to 903. What the heck? It's only water. We're just going to let it all go anyway. Going to send it all down out into the ocean just like they've always done so yeah get as much water in the lake as you can guys that sounds brilliant absolutely brilliant mate all right you guys have a wonderful day if i stay on here i'm going to say something i'm totally going to regret so i'm out of here peace